everybody I've got a success story today about getting a specific person and it's from Marveen. Oh, Marveen says hi actually it's not Marveen <laughs> it's a different name in the email my name is Yvette and I just love and adore you. I'm writing to you and your viewers to let you know that the meditation to sleep with your specific person does indeed work if you truly believe it and never give up. I know this story is a bit lengthy but there is a happy ending. August 14th 2016 I met my specific person at church and where I was a teacher at the school attached to the church. We are Catholic and I was on my knees praying for my perfect mate as I was coming out of a bad marriage where my ex refused to work for 15 years. I asked God for a man who was a Catholic. My ex was not <coughs> handsome, hardworking, loving and loyal. When I finished my prayer I noticed a very handsome man who was standing at the altar was staring and smiling at me. I smiled back and a voice in my head said that's him. I thought, God, you must be joking, as this man was considerably older than me. I walked over to the piano, as I was the musician for this, and the children's mass. He came over and sat on the side of the church near the piano. After mass, he introduced himself and asked if I'd be interested in joining the church choir. I told him that I attended another church and that I'd think about it. A few weeks later, he asked me again and he told me to take his number. I did! I continued to see him weekly at the children's mass and he reminded me that I had not called him. Week after week he began to become more attractive to me and the age difference no longer seemed to matter. I called him and agreed to join his choir. At the first rehearsal he began to sing. His voice was so beautiful and angelic. That was it. I was hooked. I fell instantly in love with him. We drew closer as now I went from seeing him one day a week to three because of the church services. We began texting each other daily. Let me just get this up on a bigger screen. Oh, where am I? And I fell deeper and deeper in love with him. He would come to my classroom window daily and just smile at me. When I expressed my feelings, he told me that his wife had passed away a year early and that he was not ready for a relationship. I was crushed. I told him that when he was ready, I'd be there. Time passes and we're still getting closer. I had been hearing rumors that he was seeing other, another woman who was his wife's friend and she attended the church also. I believed him that he was not ready for a relationship, but I would always see them together. After a year, I called him on the rug on the rug. I'm not sure what that means. I haven't heard that expression about her and he told me she was his friend. I said in my mind this friend has got to go. <laughs> I was blessed to find you and yes and LOA. I began doing your meditations and practicing self-love and affirmations. Removing the third party became my daily routine. I joined SP groups on Facebook SP being specific person for those of you that don't know and created a network of friends who were in my boat. Fast forward June 19th 2018 we went out finally after a choir concert. We had an incredible time. I knew the third party still existed but I kept strong to my I am first best beliefs and my routine. On September 4th in his office he told me there is nothing more that I can do for the third party. I almost lost my poop <laughs> as my soul and spirit were screaming with delight. Oh, I knew that after two long, grueling, tedious years it was finally happening. All went well until last weekend, October 19th, where he informed me that he was going out of town and the third party was accompanying him. Dun, dun, dun. Again, I was crushed. I wanted to throw in the towel, but my sorority sister and LOA partner told me not to give up. I was so depressed that I took to my bed and I faced the wall like Hezekiah did in the Bible. She told me not to call or text him. Sunday morning I was so full of anguish I sent him a goodbye text telling him everything I felt. I turned my phone off and thought that I had made the mistake of my life and I was truly embarrassed at my rant. And yes the man came to my house. He had never come to my house before. He was frantic that he would never see me again. I didn't answer the door as I was a mess and I hadn't showered in two days because of my desperate state. <laughs> 
He left and came back an hour later. Still, I did not answer the door, but turned on my phone only to find 15 text messages from him. I immediately called him and we agreed to meet at the restaurant where we shared our first meal. I saw him, jumped out of my car, was still running. I didn't care and I just needed to hug my man. We sat in my car and discussed what we were going to do. He said, let's get a room and talk. Trust me. We communicated, but few words were spoken. It was the most incredible night of passion ever. He told me that everything that I said in the rant was true, but because the third party was also a family friend, he couldn't cut ties as fast as I could from my ex. He did agree to push back communication from her. He wants me. He continued to physically communicate and woke. we woke up in each other's arms smiling. I love him so much. We showered and went downstairs for breakfast. He had to go to work. So he told me that we'd text throughout the day and we did. He texts me good night and I've received a good morning text this morning. I want to marry him and I feel it's already done. Never, 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 never give up. No matter what age you are, I'm 53, he's 62. This works and yes, thank you again and look forward to the wedding invitation. Lovely. Woohoo! Nice. <laughs> Okay, um, I want to mention a couple of things for you to have a look at if you feel to. Firstly, it is a wonderful YouTube called Self Love and it's people's little testimonials and um, Shveta, who is a viewer on this channel, recommended it to me. Thank you, Shveta. So I'll put the link down in the description below for those of you that want to have a look. And for those of you that watched the interview I did with Jay Williams, the techie guy that we talked about trust and relationships and stuff not long ago, he mentioned the five languages. Now, I think it's really interesting. I will put the interview to Jay down below where he talks about the five languages, how we communicate, how we like to receive love. Is it verbal? Is it through affection? Is it through people doing things for us? And there's a couple of more that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I will put the link down below to a YouTube and it goes through it in detail. It's from the book, The Five Languages. So I'll put it down there for you. Five Languages of Love. I'll put it down there for you for you to have a look at and let me know what you think because it's very interesting. I'm really grateful to Jay for mentioning it and having had a look at it I think it's lovely simply explained and he talks about the five languages within the relationship of his mum and dad and what his mum was like and what his dad uh, was how he liked to receive love and also what it's like for him in his relationship. So I'm going to add both of those down there down there being in the description for you to have a look at and I will see you in the next YouTube. Woohoo!